We're in Seattle, Washington, ready to bring you another great NFL matchup. Welcome to this NFC matchup. Seattle matches up against Minnesota. Let's see how it plays out today as we get set for the kickoff. is back and ready to put this one in the air. Nice distance. He got all of it and it sails out of the end zone. They're ready to call their first play of the game. A lot of fans have looked forward to this game all week, John, with two of the best quarterbacks in the league. I had a chance to talk to both of these guys before the game, and it's funny. They First both used the word respect. Oh, they have a lot of respect for each other, and really they both said they enjoy the games more when you have to measure yourself against another great quarterback. Anderson is there for the tackle at the 22. Watch this. When you talk about not giving up on a play, having a motor that's always running, this is it right here. He gets a good shot at him and misses. But he comes back, and he still ends up making the tackle. Let's go, boys. You got to have it, dude. Let's go. Be physical. Here we go. Let us be tough. Set. Here it comes. Hey. With a counter play. McGuire is there on the stop. And that game will get them a fresh set of downs. It was a great run. He saw his blockers create some room for him, and he accelerated right through the hole. Ball on their own 31. The Seahawks with a four man front. Blue day, blue day. Pass play here on first down. Throws it. Barnes comes up to make the play. And it's good for a first down. Ball on the 35 yard line. Ball on the 35 yard line. Let's go, let's go. Left, left. The Seahawks line up at a 4 3. A little misdirection. Grant is there on the stop at the 25 yard line. Vision is so important to these ball carriers. They got to find the hole and get to it before it closes. There's no hole there, and they got to know that too. If you don't have the vision, you just can't find the hole. Ball on the 25 yard line. The Vikings line up in trips bunch with the pass. Barnes had the coverage on the play. Greater the intended receiver on the play. Third and inches. Ball on the 25 yard line. Throws it. Incomplete as the defender knocks it away. Harris was his intended target. Thomas will try to put them ahead with this field goal. Veteran kicks it through. Decent drive, turning their first possession into three points. And you want to get something on your first possession. They were looking for a touchdown, but the defense kind of tightened up. This one is handled by Warner. Seattle trying to push this one all the way down the field for the lead. Right. 
Ball on their own 20. Walker, the motion man. The blitz is on. Gets the pass off. And pass ball's incomplete. He felt the pressure and got rid of the ball. That's what the defense has been talking about. Make this guy throw it before he's ready. It's just that little split second early that can cause an incomplete pass or even an interception. Right. Second and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Watch out. Set. Number 48. The lone setback. Throws it. And this pass is completed. Excellent recognition by the receiver, leading the coverage and adjusting his route accordingly. Option routes are receiving routes designed to take advantage of the coverage. It's up to both the receiver and the quarterback to make the same read. If the receiver reads zone, but the quarterback reads man, you can see passes going right to defender. The backs are lined up in an eye. Dropping back the pass on first down. With the pass, it's batted away. Stevens was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Number 55 with the coverage. Second and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Play hard and fast, baby. Set. Over swim right. The blitz is on. It's on the ground. The Vikings scoop up the fumble. So the pressure forces a turnover. And the key to that fumble was that the quarterback didn't have good possession of the ball. He has to either get rid of it quicker or tuck it in and take the sack. But you have to hold on. Ball on the 23-yard line. The Seahawks line up in a 4-3. Hand it off. is there for the tackle. This is a great block. Watch here. He just barrels into the defender, taking it right off the turf. Now that is a textbook block right there. Watch this. Let's go. Keep moving. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Let's turn it up, D. Today. With a counter play, Harris comes up to make the play at the eight. Back and very little help up front, maybe a yard or two on the play. They're eight yards from the end zone. Out of the eye formation, gets rid of it. And he hits his target. Barnes is there for the tackle. At the three. Person got a flag down on that play. Let's see what he Number 46. So it's a 15-yard penalty, down. not the incidental five-yard face mask. He's lucky his head's still on the way he got yanked down there. It's first and goal at the one-yard line. Watch him man. Blue there, blue there. The goal from the I formation. it off. Warren is there on the stop at the two. It's always tougher to move the ball down there by the goal line. There's a lot less field to protect, so the defense can afford to play more aggressively. You just got to be sure that you maintain your gap assignment. So no misdirection plays or plays to the outside get by you. Back the lone back. Oh, with a man in motion. Trying to get to the pylon. Warner comes up to make the play. And he chases him down behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. I'll tell you, he's one of the most knowledgeable defenders in the league. He knows how to play the game, and he always knows what's going on. It's third and goal at the five. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, boys. Out of the eye formation. Dropping back. Pressure coming. Dumps it off. Swatted away at the line. That short pass on third down fails. Not much more than an extra point here. 
The veteran connecting for the field goal. Not every drive is going to get you a touchdown. So getting three was big. Now they got to go over what worked and what didn't. So the next drive will get him a TD. This one is handled by Warner. Keeps his feet moving. Warner takes this one back to the 23 yard line. The ball on their own 23. The drive at the 23 yard line. First and 10. Throwing. Swatted away at the line. Number 55 had his hands on it. I think he was invisible out there. It wasn't even seen. And that's a break for the offense. Second and 10. Ball on the 23 yard line. The Vikings come out with three down linemen and seven defensive backs. With the throw. Almost in picked off. Pass. Can't complete the short yeah, pass attempt. The so they'll have a third ball. down now. Third and ten. Ball on the 23 yard line. Only one man in the backfield. Number 16 with a man in motion. Dropping back. Pumps once. Throws it. And he makes the grab. Number 55 is there for the tackle at the 30. You don't run a pattern short of the first down on third down. Now here's the punt unit as the defense forces a three and out. From the 28 yard line. First and ten. Start the drive at the 33-yard line. First and ten. The Seahawks line up in a 4-3 with the throw. Incomplete pass. Warner was there on the cover. Second and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Bull scans the defense from the gun. Gilbert in motion. Drops back. Closing in with the pass. The pass was incomplete. He appeared to feel the pressure there. So many passing attacks in the NFL rely on timing. When you can put pressure on the passer, you never give him a chance to get into a rhythm. And you force him to throw the ball before he wants to. Third and ten. Ball on the 33 yard line. Get it on. Gets rid of it. And it's complete. Harris Great takes him down before he can get the first. That play won't help their third down conversion percentage today. I wonder what the receiver was thinking. Running a route that wasn't going to put him past the first down marker anyway. Comes into the game for the punt. Warner back to return. They'll down this one at the 35 yard line. Go make a play. The Vikings come out in a nickel pack. Throwing. 
Kirkland is there for the tackle at the 50-yard line. A powerful arm brings them a first down this time. Yeah, and you talk about putting some heat on your throws. This guy really let it go. First Ball on the 50-yard line. Ball on the 50-yard line. Pressure. Can't avoid the rush. Great downfield coverage that time, John. You have to go through your progression and get rid of the ball. Give your receivers a chance to make a play. You just can't take a sack in a situation like that. Following the sack, it's second and long. Number 48, the long setback. Number 16, sends a man in motion. The rush is on. Rowan drops the interception. And number 55 had his hands on him. He's a pretty good cover linebacker. He can run with most guys, and he gets good position. Then he reads the pass, and he makes his move. But he'll drop a few like that one. Third and long. Ball on the 45 yard line. The Vikings come out in a nickel package. Throws it. The wide receiver has it. Number 37 is there for the tackle at the 34. It away. On the Grady cover. pressure can really change the way an offense operates. They need to keep some extra blockers in, either a tight end on the line or a back that can help them out with their protection. Second and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Number 48 lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Gets the call. Rowing. Number 56 takes him down. That's three times on this drive. They've been able to pick up a first down. Yeah, and the thing is, they'll be doing more than just picking up first downs if this success continues. They're going to be picking up some points. First and ten. Smith, the motion man. With a counter play, can't bring him down. Number 56 comes up to make the play at the 12. Number 48, a very little help up front, maybe a yard or two on the play. And this is the eighth play of this drive. They're inside the 15. Gets the pass off. Touchdown, Seattle. Watch this catch by the tight end. I always say the tight end is always more of a threat in the red zone. He's a big target, and his skills sometimes cause matchup problems for the defense. by one point after the touchdown.
He got all of it, and it sails out of the end zone. The defense forced a punt the last time after three plays. Back in the backfield. He'll pass on first down. With the pass, it's broken up. Warner had the coverage on the play. Number 87, the intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Play hard and fast, baby. Watch your eyes. With the throw. It's caught. John has proven he's a consistent player. Yeah, especially in situations where they're looking to get first down yardage. After one quarter of play, the score is 7-6. Seahawks. Seven. The Vikings. Six. And we're ready to start the second quarter. First and ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. Let's go, beat this. The Seahawks come out in a 4 3. Looking for room. Slips the tackle. Ooh, that one will leave a mark. Back picks up some tough yards there. Second and six coming up here. Hey, let's go one deep. Get me going. To carry it, Anderson is there on the stop at the 37. Beck takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. Third and four. Ball on the 37 yard line. Let's go. So we gonna take it. They line up in the I formation with the pass, and he drops the pass. And there's not one wide receiver who can ever play him. He's never dropped the pass. It's just part of the game. Warner lines up deep for the punt return. From the 30-yard line, Warner returns this one to the 38. The Ball on their own 38. Start the drive at the 38-yard line. First and ten. Hold the line. Number 48 in the backfield. Come on. Rolls right. Going long. Incomplete. He had to unload that pass in a hurry. Yeah, he felt those guys closing in and gunned the ball out of there. Second to ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Get it up. Nothing. They don't get nothing. Uh -huh. Stop, 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 stop. Great shoot. Hand off to the tailback. Brady is there for the tackle. You got to keep going to the run. You never know when there's going to be a great blocking ahead of you, allowing for a big one right into the end zone. Third down and three coming up. Walker comes in motion. Let's go, let's go. It off to the back. The 40. Number 72 is there on the stop at the 34. A powerful run to get the first. When you got a free man coming at you, sometimes the best thing to do is put your shoulders down and take them head on. First and 10. Ball on the 34 yard line. Number 48, the deep man. 
Looks like someone That's jumped right. early. That's right. That's right. That's right. Number 12. Smith moved a little early there. Yeah, the rule for the offensive line is once you put your hand down, you can't move until the ball snaps. So now it's first and 15 after the penalty. Here we go. I'll come through, baby. Number 48, the lone back. Under pressure, throwing. He hits his receiver. Coy comes up to make the play at the 33. Number 60 will be looking at second down now after that pass picks up five yards. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 33-yard line. Buckley goes in motion. They're coming with the blitz. With the throw, Lloyd is there for the tackle. At the 20, the defense blitzes the corner, but the quarterback got rid of it quickly for a completion and a first down. That was a great play because he saw him coming, remained calm, and threw an accurate pass. First Inside the red zone. Ball on the 20 yard line. The last time they were down here, they scored a touchdown. It's the toss to the left. Blackman comes up to make the play at the 20-yard line. Nothing doing that time, John, as the linebacker gets there quickly. He's one of those guys who's a sure tackler. He'll move up and play physically at the line, come on a blitz, and play the run just about as well as anyone on the defense. Ball on the 20-yard line. Blue down, blue down. Here we go, the Vikings come out in a nickel package. Uh -huh. the counter play. They're going to spot this one at the 13-yard line. He's really getting it done out there. I talked to the offensive coordinator this week, and he told me that he was going to be an important part of this offensive game plan. Eighth play of this drive, down inside the 15. At the 12, there's three tackles so no far for him today. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. Hamilton, Hamilton looking to make a good kick good. here. The it's good. Is good. The key to winning is having your drives get some sort of points for your team. They got it done on that drive. And I'm sure they'll think a touchdown for their next one. Seattle is lined up for the kickoff. Number 87 is back to return. This one is handled by number 87. Let's see if this possession is more effective after their last possession ended in a punt. The Vikings will start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. Will, will, will. The Seahawks come out in a 4-3. Oliver is there on the stop at the 24. Now they got to keep going at them. They can get that defense tired, and on its heels, these games will get longer and bigger as the game goes on. So that's a gain of about five. Second and six coming up here. We're talking about bringing the Seahawks line up in a 4-3. Anderson is there for the tackle at the 29-yard line. It's important to pound the defense with a run. Sooner or later, they're going to bend. It's third down and a yard. Watch the snap down. Everything you got. Beck lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Throwing. Jumps and makes the catch. They convert for the first down on that throw. And they ran the perfect play to get those couple of yards.
First three minutes down. remaining in the quarter. The Seahawks with a four-man front. Hand it off. They'll spot this one at the 44-yard line. He records his third tackle of the game. And he was able to create a lot of space on that run, John. Well, it started with some good blocking. And when he got through there, he turned up field, and they weren't in position to tackle him. First and, First and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Dropping back to pass on first down. Going long to the left. Broken up. Trace was the intended receiver on that play. Barnes with the cover. Second and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. All right, here we go. Keep it up. Set. Let's go, boys. All right, let's go. Here we go. With the pass, almost in a second. Number 87 was his intended target. Warner was there on the cover. Almost at the two minute mark now. The Seahawks come out on a nickel package. Drops back. Gets rid of it. Barnes is there for the tackle at the 29-yard line. Oh, with a strong arm, and that gets him a first down. Yeah, that was a heck of a pass. I mean, you could just hear that ball sizzling in the air. Ball on the 29-yard line, and this is the eighth play of this drive. Two-minute warning coming up. Back is the deep back. Here we come. A little misdirection. Running with a lot of room in front. The 10. And they're in. Touchdown, Touchdown, Vikings. This back loves to hit the defenders when they come close in for the tackle. He sees the hit coming, lowers his shoulder, and then boom. The defender's left lying there in his back. Thomas comes in to attempt the point after. The extra point attempt is good. After the touchdown, the score is 13-10. Vikings. sails out of the end zone. They're ready to go again after that last drive ended with a field goal. First Almost at the two minute mark ball now. Ball the, man. Here we go, baby. the Vikings Here come out in a nickel package. Dropping back to pass on first down with the pass. Interception. Now that was just a bad decision. Look at this. Two defenders right near the receiver. Now there are a few guys who think they can squeeze the ball into double coverage, and he's one of them. That time he gambled and he lost. Gets the pass off. Ooh, nearly picked off. Schrader was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Barnes had the coverage on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. There we go. Watch the snap now. Let's go. Back. The lone setback. Throws it. He drops the pass. All he can do is look at his hands and wonder what the heck happened.
third and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Check it out, baby. It's on. Pull from the shotgun. Ain't no way. All day, baby. Come on. Watch out. Dropping back. Pressure coming. Fires this one deep. Incomplete as the defender knocks it away. That's just great positioning by the defender. He has his eyes in the backfield the whole time, and he was right there to break the play up. Beck was the intended receiver on that play. Matt will come in now to punt it away. Warner sets up, waiting for the punt. This one goes out of bounds. Should be interesting to see if they want to try to pick up some points before the half or just play it safe and run the ball here on first down. Ball on their own 12. The backs are lined up in an eye. Number 72 stops the play in the backfield. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. Ball on their own 11. Only one man back. Hand off to the tailback. Can't bring it down. Blackman is there for the tackle at the 21. Here's a look at the third down success rate of each team. Going to the first on short yardage. With the pass, he finds his man. Number 56 is there on the stop at the 30-yard line. Here's a no huddle. It's a good way to keep the defense off balance. They're coming with the blitz. Gets the pass off. Swings this pass to his running back out on the right side. Good read on that play. He saw them drop back in zone and took advantage. That's the kind of efficiency that the coach is looking for out of him. Take what the defense gives. Don't force it. Protect the football. Those kinds of things. Steps up into the pocket. Throws it. Incomplete as the defender knocks it away. Pretty good coverage downfield as the pass falls incomplete. He had some room up in front of him to scramble out of the pocket and pick up a few yards. Maybe he should have done that. Third and five. Ball on the 35-yard line. Keep moving. The defense lines up in the nickel. The rush is on. Throwing. Gets his hand on it. And he throws incomplete because he had major pressure. The corner came on a blitz and he sprinted for the quarterback. Guys love the opportunity to get a set. And that time he just missed taking him down. Number 87 is back to receive this kick. Fair catch called for. Fair catch made at the 25 yard line. First Ball on their 10. own 25. Ball on the 25 yard line. Looking long down the right side of the field. That was a good play, turn bad play. Good because their zone defense worked well. Bad because he dropped the interception. That's one he wishes he could have back. Second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Hey, work the counter. Set. All on that job. The blitz is on. Dumps it off. Gets his hand on it. I tell you, that's exactly what you're supposed to do if you don't reach your quarterback. Get your hands up and cause an incomplete pass. Third and ten. Ball on the 25 yard line. Bring it up, bring it up. You need a rush. The Seahawks line up in the quarter defense. Throwing. Broken up. 
And that's just the kind of play they've come to expect from him. He always seems to make the big play just when they need him to. Schrader was his intended target. Offense couldn't get it done in the lineup to punt. From the 35. Able to get some good yardage on the return, and he goes down at the 46 yard line. The Seahawks will start the drive at the 46 yard line. First and 10. Minnesota comes out in their nickel package. Gets rid of it. Picked off. It's intercepted. Well, if you're going to get rid of it, you have to throw it where no one but your guy has a chance to catch it. That time, the throw was a little bit off, and the defender was right there to make the interception. So they're ready to go on offense after the interception. They'll start at the 31. The Seahawks come out in a nickel package. Throws it. Incomplete pass. A little too much touch. Greater, the intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. Throwing. Incomplete. He somehow got that pass off. The play didn't work because the quarterback's timing and balance was off. When he starts to feel pressure, he gets a little nervous and he has to get rid of the ball. Third and ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. Pull out of the gun. Number 87. The man in motion. Closing in. Throws this one off balance. Plenty of pressure, and he barely gets the pass away. This defensive coordinator understands that pressure is the key to forcing the offense into making mistakes. If his players keep playing like this, he might be up for a head coaching job pretty soon. Thomas is heading onto the field for this field goal attempt. The kick was wide and off the mark. After the missed field goal, they're set to go on offense at the 38-yard line. The Vikings come out in a nickel package. Dropping back to pass on a first down. Rolling out to his right with the throw, and he drops the pass. At the end of two, the score is 13-10. Vikings. 13, the Seahawks. 10. We're ready to begin the third quarter of one. And we're set for the second half. Kicking off to start the second half. Warner back deep to the top. That one is out of the end zone. Seattle is trying to take the lead on this drive as they take over. First Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. We're talking about Maria. Watch him there. The defense lines up in the nickel. Pass play here on first down. Going long. He's there for the catch. He did his job, found the single coverage, and delivers a perfect pass. Right. 
First and ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Out of the eye formation. Number 16 sends a man in motion. They give it to the handback. Brady comes up to make the play. Number 48 takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. Second and seven coming up here. Hey, watch the screen. Come on. Minnesota comes out in the dime package. Throws it, makes the adjustment. McCoy is there on the stop. They completed the pass for a first down. And they did it against the cover, too. So the quarterback found a soft spot, and he got it in there. They're inside the 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. So they're now inside the 20 and down by three. Short swing pass to the running back. And he's forced out of bounds at the 19. That pass didn't get very much. But that's all right. You did the right thing by dumping it off. This is not the part of the field that you want to be making high-risk passes. They're in the red zone. Ball on the 19-yard line. No stop, no stop, the last time they were down here, they settled for a field goal. Ducks under the sack. Throwing short. Someone gets a hand up and it drops to the ground. Watch it here. He's getting pressure, but he's strong enough and mobile enough to get away from the rush and avoid the sack. Now, you need a quarterback that can do things like that because sometimes an incompletion can be a pretty good play. Number 16 sends a man in motion. Here comes the blitz. Rowing. And it's complete. Scott can't find a way to advance it to the first down mark. Put it through. It's good. And give credit to the kicker there. It's nice to have a guy that can make your drive worth three, even if you don't get in in the end zone every time. This one is handled by number 87. Bill, and a subpar first half performance, so let's turn to the chart now to get the breakdown. Out of the eye formation. The blitz is on. Throws it. He finds his man. Warner is there on the stop at the 38-yard line. Nice ball going to the air, and that'll move the chain. First and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. The Seahawks with a four-man front. Hand it off. Wood is there for the tackle at the 39. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Ball on their own 39. Ball on the 39-yard line. They line up in the eye formation. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Let's go. Let's go. for the tailback. They'll spot this one at the 41. He found the ball carrier to make his fourth stop of the game.
third, third and seven. Ball on the 41 yard line. Let's go now. Watch the snap now. The backs are lined up in an eye. With the carry, fakes the handoff. Throwing. This pass is incomplete. Laid it up a little too softly that time. Warner will go back to accept this punt. From the 22. Number 48 in the backfield. Watch it. And off to the tailback. Blackman is there on the stop at the 32-yard line. This is just the kind of thing that they have come to expect from their running game. A very consistent and effective ground attack. Ball on their own 32. Ball on the 32-yard line. Get it up! Hand it off. Fakes the handoff. With the throw. Almost picked off. And what the defense is doing is they're watching the quarterback's eyes. They're cluing. They're in position so that whatever happens, the ball is in front of them. And that time, it almost got him an interception. Third and three. Ball on the 32-yard line. Minnesota comes out in their nickel package. Looking for room. Great fake with the pass. And the catch is made. Wheeler comes up to make the play at the 44-yard line. And so a risky call to send the corner backfires and they give up a first down. Some quarterbacks love blitzing corner because they know that there's one less cover man out there and they have a lot better shot at hitting someone in stride. Watch your eyes. Number 48, the deep back. We're talking about Rhea. Here we go. It's a blitz. Gets rid of it. Kirkland is there on the stop at the 49. Just about five on that pass, John. That was a pretty good play. The defense brought a few extra guys, but the line did a pretty good job of picking it up, giving them just enough time to find the open man. Ball on their own 49. Ball on the 49 yard line. Stay both left. What's the hard count? So low, so low. Let's go. Let's go. Hand off to the tailback. Late comes up to make the play at the 47. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. Forty-six yard line is the spot they have to get to to convert on this third down play. The defense has had difficulty stopping them on third down. He's brought down behind the line for a short pass. They can't get the first down on that running play, and since they're not in field goal range, we should see the punt unit. Number 87. Looks like he's ready for the return. He signals for a fair catch. Fair catch made at the 14-yard line. The Vikings will start the drive at the 14-yard line. First and 10. The backs are lined up in an eye. Ball sends a man in motion. With the pass, and he can't hang on. He put the ball exactly where you want to put it. Second and ten. Ball on the 14 yard line. 
Nickelback in this time. It's a blitz. Gets the pass off. Campbell goes the one they were trying to get the ball to. Warner with the coverage. And here's a look at each team's success on third down so far. The Seahawks come out in the quarter defense. Pressure with the throw. Goes up, makes the catch. And he steps out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Watch it here. This is a great call on third down to keep this drive alive. They were in a tough spot here. But this is a heck of a throw and catch to pick up that first down. Number 76 comes up to make the play at the 35. He is a big offensive force. You know, this guy's a load to bring down. Defenses have a tough time wrapping up those big old tree trunks he has for legs. Ball on their own 35. Ball on the 35 yard line. Dropping back. Under pressure. Throws it. Drops the interception. He's back in his own. He's reading. He sees the quarterback the whole way. And then he gets a chance at an interception. He just didn't finish the play. Third and three. Ball on the 35-yard line. There we go. Back, the lone back. I watch the boot. Looking to run it here. Setting up play action. Gets the pass off. Minnesota cannot convert a third down to that. It's the ninth time. Let me tell you, I'm seeing a team who is getting physically beat up. Give a lot of credit to the defensive coordinator for being prepared and putting his players in a position to make plays. Matt is ready to pump this one away. Warner is the deep return man. And he chooses not to return this one. Fair catch made at the 27 yard line. Right. First and ten. At the 27 yard line. First and ten. They ain't got nothing. Is it guy? Number 48 is the deep back. With the pass. This one goes to the fullback on the right side. Great throw to reach the zone. I tell you, the defense has to do a better job of coming up and clamping down on the receiver whenever he enters their zone. So they have first and ten here. Let's go, Beakers! Number 16 sends a man in motion. Watch a man. Gives the ball off. Number 55 is there for the tackle at the 44. The best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry. But there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. You got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees the open. Number 48, the lone back. Gets the handoff on the delay. Lake is there on the stop at the 45-yard line. A big part of this guy's running style is to use the blockers to set up his cut. But they were nowhere to be found on that run. Third down and four coming up on this one. The 45-yard line. Closes it out to the left. A solid tackle in the open field by number 37. Johnny had a guy right there in his face, but made him miss. Yeah, he just kind of moved out of the way. You know, some runners have a sense that tells them what to do with their arm. He uses his arms very well. Great game so far. After three quarters, it's all tied up. Seattle, 13. 
Minnesota 13. The teams are set for the fourth quarter of play. Ball on the 45 yard line. Gets the call. They'll go with a play fake. Pressure coming with the throw. Almost intercepted. Incomplete pass. He was in the right place at the right time, and that saved them from giving up a lot of yardage. Second and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Get it up! The Vikings come out of a nickel package. Knocked away. So they lose out on an opportunity to pick up solid yardage. Third and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. They've done very well on third down to this point. Dropping back. Gets rid of it. It's going the other way. Maybe thinking it was open when it wasn't. He throws a pick. After the interception, they'll set up shot at the 34. The Seahawks line up in a 4-3. They'll pass on first down. Closing in. He was being patient, waiting for something to happen. Second, Second and 15. 15. Ball on the 29-yard line. Here we go, baby. Keep the back. Ball oh, with split backs. Gilbert, the motion man. This one is handed off. Anderson is there for the tackle at the 32-yard line. Just about a three-yard gain. Ball on their own 32. Ball on the 32 yard line. The Seahawks come out in the quarter defense. Pressure growing. Knocked away. They dropped additional people into the secondary, but still generated an excellent pass rush. And that gives you a lot of flexibility calling your defense. If the guys up front are good at creating pressure, then you don't have to blitz as often giving you the ability to double cover an opponent's best receiver. So as we get set for the punt, let's take a look at our returner's stats. Matt comes into the game for the punt. Warner into return. Fair catch. Fair this catch. is just how the coach likes to play. Keep it close until the end, then put something together with your last drive to come away with a win. Now it's up to the offense to close this one out. The Seahawks will start the drive at the 37-yard line. First and 10. Only one man in the backfield. With a counterplay, can't pull him down. Number 55 is there on the stop at the 44. Number 48 running hard, going right through the arm tackles. is on. The rush gets him from behind. Someone gets free there. Yeah, and that's one of the advantages of the 3-4 defense. They can always bring that extra rusher, and you don't know where he's coming from. It could be from the outside or the inside. It could be a linebacker, or it could be a safety. And right there, it led to a sack. And here's what they've been able to do so far on third down. Minnesota comes out in their nickel package. It's a blitz. Gets the pass off. Ooh, nearly picked off. Loy was there on the cover. The intended receiver on the play. Second 
Very solid defensive effort to force the three and out. Andy signals for the fair catch. They have a reputation for pulling out wins right at the end of the game. They have another chance to do that kind of thing right here with this drive. Ball on their own 14. Back the lone back. Hand it off. Runs through the tackle. This one will be spotted at the 20-yard line. And that tackle gives him three in the game. It's second down and three to go. From the start, from the start. Ain't no threat. The Seahawks with a four-man front receives the handoff. Number 76 is there for the tackle. The defensive tackle surged through the line to bring the runner down. Ball on their own 21. Out of the eye formation. He gets the count. Great fake. Looking for something long. He has it. Barnes is there on the stop at the 20. I watch this guy play, and I think that's the kind of thing he does best. He reads the defense quickly, finds a single coverage, and lets it fly. He's willing to go long on any down in any situation, so the defense can't afford to be too aggressive out there. Bull sends a man in motion. Hand it off. Oliver is there for the tackle at the 17 yard line. Beck rumbles forward for a gain of four. They're inside the 20. Ball on the 17 yard line. Harris in motion. Dropping back. Uses the pump. Under pressure. Goes to the end zone. Nearly intercepted. And dropped in the end zone, so the offense still has possession. And that's the last thing you want as a defender to have the ball go right through your hands in the end zone. Third and six. Ball on the 17 yard line. The Seahawks come out with one linebacker and several defensive backs. Number 35 comes up to make the play at the 13-yard line. That run isn't enough for the first down, but they still have the opportunity to go ahead with the field goal. And that's what they were thinking on that play. They didn't want to erase a chance to go up by three by losing yardage on a sack or throwing a bad pass that winds up in their opponent's hands. Big time kick here. This would put them in front. They'll take the lead here in the fourth with that field goal. The field goal breaks the tie. He's just about ready to kick this one away. This one is handled by Warner. The Seahawks will start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. With the pass, and this pass is completed. Perfect execution to get this first down. Look at it here. He knows how far they have to move the chain, and he gets it by making the right decision and laying it in there like that. You can't stop me. 
to the back, Blackman comes up to make the play at the 42-yard line. Two on the play. Ball on their own 42. Ball on the 42-yard line. Defense, get ready. Let's go. Blitz is coming. Gets rid of it. Bell is there for the tackle at the 36. And defensively, you can't really cover the screen any better than that. The defense was in the perfect position to make the play and set him for a loss. Third down and a long coming up here. Dimebacks in for this play. Gets the pass off. And he dropped it. That is a catch you have to make. The quarterback did a pretty good job getting the ball to his receiver, and he just dropped it. Number 87 sets up to run back the punt. Won't take a chance trying to return this one. At the Almost at the two-minute mark the now. At the 16-yard line. First and ten. The Seahawks come out in a nickel package. Let's go. Are we, are we? Let's go. Off to the back, it's going to be spotted at the 18, and so that makes tackle number six. Two minute warning coming up. Minutes to go. Ball on an 18 yard line. He gets to the halfback. McGuire drags the ball carrier down behind the line. The offensive line didn't get much of a push on that play, and the runner is stuck. As soon as he got the ball, there was a defender in his face to knock him down. Ball on their own 17. Ball on the 17 yard line. Hey, watch the screen. Ball oh, sends a man in motion. You need a run. Hand it off. Number 35 makes the stop before the first down is reached. They played it safe, stayed on the ground, nothing doing. Warner gets set for the return as we take a look at his numbers. Nothing happening for the offense there, forced into a three and out. From the 48 yard line. 25 yard punt, return for a gain of three yards. Ball on the 48-yard line. Ball on the 48-yard line. Nothing. They don't get nothing. Only one man back. Number 16 with a man in motion. He'll pass on first down. Going for the deep man. And he drops the pass. That's his third drop. Second and ten. Minnesota comes out in their nickel package. With the throw, he hits his receiver. Kirkland stops him. They'll head right back to the line. Stay close now. Do something, do something. 
Pressure coming. Gets rid of it. He loses it. The Vikings grab the live ball. An opportune time to cause a fumble as they halt the drive and now give it right back to their offense. So the officials are calling for time, and I think it's because they want to review it. And since we're in the last two minutes, that's a call that came down from the booth. Clearly a big momentum shift could be in the making as we take a look at a possible fumble. And they really had no choice but to challenge it because of what it could be for both teams. I don't know. It's a tough call from seeing that angle. It was unclear initially why they called for a review, but now we understand the reason. Yeah, it's important to get the calls right at this point of the game. Number 16, we split backs. They ain't got nothing, so we gonna take it. It's showtime, baby. Keep the throw down. Gains it off. Nice play fake. Closing in. Number 72 uses his speed to get to the quarterback. He's got some great moves, and he combines that with a very quick first step. And they go with a no huddle. Gets the pass off. Kirkland is there for the tackle at the 23-yard line. And it looks like they're going to go no huddle. He held on to it too long. Fumble, loose ball. He's rushing the offense back to the line. Throws to the end zone for the late lead. This one falls incomplete. That's his third drop. Third and long. Ball on the 30-yard line. Three shoot. Three ball. The lineup of six defensive backs. Drops back. Pressure with the pass. And he can't hang on. Time is working against them. Yeah, I'm thinking they're going to keep going to the air. But it might be a little too late. They would have preferred the kick to come with just a few seconds left, leaving very little time on the clock for the opposition when they get the ball back. Well, he's got to make the field goal first before they can start worrying about that. Big kick here to tie it up. The kick was wide and off the mark. This game is presented by the authority of the National Football League and EA Sports. Any publication, rebroadcast, or other use 
of the descriptions and accounts of this game without the expressed written permission of EA Sports is prohibited. This is Al Michaels. Good night.